Capacity Management Capacity is the maximum rate of output of a process or system. Capacity is in our daily life. How many people should a concert hall have? How many people should a restaurant be able to serve? How many batteries should a plant be able to produce? Design Capacity Theoretical maximum output in a given period under ideal conditions. Project engineer design machine to run at 200 parts per minute. Effective capacity. Output expected by the company under current operations constraints. For example, different product mix as was initially designed, some capacity cushions. Capacity available is affected by work content change, product mix change, equipment change, speed or pace at which the work is done. Measure. Utilization equals real production over design capacity. Efficiency equals real production over effective capacity. Efficiency is the main driver for the operations director. Number of capacity and strategy. One, add capacity to go ahead demand. This is an expansionist strategy. This can result in economics of scale. Two, wait and see. This is a conservative strategy. It follows demand and expands in smaller increments. Some risk is what we perhaps can be unable to respond to high demand. Management should choose between these two strategies or another in between. According to the horizon, we can talk about short-term capacity, zero to three months. Our main drivers for capacity management are planning jobs, planning people, schedule machines. Medium-term capacity, three to 12 months. Our main drivers are subcontract operations, add manpower, increase or use stocks, add shifts, add equipment. Long-term capacity planning, one to five years. Our main drivers have added installations, add equipment with long installation lead time. Of course, in short-term capacity planning, you can also add overtime work.